and that is after weeks of getting used to no more mask mandates and also loosening up COVID restrictions uh, and lowering infection rates. The number of cases have started to creep back up here in California. More than 99% of cases are from some type of Omicron mutation. BA2 is expected to make up about 80% of those cases. That's according to the latest sequencing data. The public health department says it expects that mutation and its subvariants to spread farther across the state. And there is an uptick in COVID cases across the state. Yeah, two counties right here in our area back in the high transmission rate. That's coming from the CDC. Case Area 3's Maricela de la Cruz talked to officials in Yolo and Sacramento counties and has this. As thousands of new COVID cases are reported daily across the state. As of today, the case rate is 16.2, which is a 30% uh, rise from last week. Yolo and Sacramento counties are back in the CDC's high community transmission rate. Yolo County spokesperson John Fout says a mask requirement won't be reinstated unless their health care system is affected. And despite an uptick in hospitalizations, they've been able to keep up. There was a minor blip today where we had uh, six cases in the hospital, but mostly it's been zero or one for the past uh, few weeks. Tomorrow, Yellow County is launching a test to treat site in Woodland so that people who test positive can get faster treatment for COVID. In Sacramento County, the case rate is up to 16.2 per 100,000 residents and rates of exposure and infection remain higher among communities of color. Zip codes have remained about the same. They tend to be in the disadvantaged communities. As far as vaccination rates, um, we, we still have to work with the North Highland area. Dr. Kasiri says that they hope they don't have to go back to enforcing the use of masks in the county, but still strongly recommend them. Sacramento's Native American Health Center is also seeing an uptick at their clinic. Previously, we were seeing maybe one out of every 14 or 15 people uh, coming back positive. Now we're seeing closer to one out of every five. So there has been an increase. Dr. Kasiri adds that Omicron subvariant BA2 makes up about 40% of the specimens in the county. Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. Officials add that the recent subvariants have caused different symptoms like digestive issues.